hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm sharing with you all my recipe for curried goat in the instant pot you could also make this in a regular pressure cooker or on in a regular pot so let's jump straight into the recipe let me show you how easy this one is going to be to put together we're gonna start by seasoning the goat that has already been washed and cleaned I'm going in with complete seasoning Tomato is chopped. I love to put it. You can omit it if you don't want it. Scallion or scythe. Pimento peppers. You can add hot pepper in here if you wanted to. Celery goes in. Onion. Garlic. And green seasoning. The recipe will be linked in the description box for the green seasoning. Now I'm going to season with some black pepper and salt. And add how much salt that you're accustomed to using in your diet, guys. And remember, you can always um, adjust the salt when it's finished cooking. You want to give this a good mix to incorporate all of those seasonings. Allow it to marinate for a couple of hours or overnight. Next, we're going to put up our Instant Pot on the saute mode. If you were doing this on your stove, have it, have it over a medium, medium low heat. In goes oil. I'm using avocado oil here now I'm going to go in with some methi or fenugreek seeds and some jeera or cumin seeds we're going to allow those to toast until they turn a darker brown color but don't let it burn once it's dark we're going to go in with some aromatic sliced onions pimentos curry leaves you can even put some scallions in here and hot peppers if you want it we're going to allow this to saute until it turns light brown in color. Now we're going to add in our curry powder. In goes some amchara masala and some jeera. Now you're going to mix this and let it toast for about one minute until it feels grainy and you don't want to cook this over a high heat guys you don't want to take off your instant pot and make sure you cook this on a really low heat you don't want to burn the curry once it feels grainy you're going to go in with water to help the curry cook this is going to take an additional minute we're going to cook it until the curry turns into a thick paste Once the curry turns into a thick paste and the oils start separating, we'll add in the seasoned goat meat. Toss that goat into that curry mixture, let it coat really well, and we're going to allow this to bunge it down, which means we're going to let it cook out in here until all of the natural juices that the meat releases dries up. So now you would want to place back your instant pot on high to allow this to happen. Now once it starts sticking to the bottom of the pot, you'll know that it's ready for water. So at this point, we're going to add in enough water to cover the meat. But you don't want to add too much water, guys. If you add too much, it's going to be really, really runny and you're going to have to cook it down additional when it's finished pressure cooking so for me the two cups is perfect you don't want to cover it more than this now we're going to take off the saute mode we're going to cover the instant pot and we're going to put on the pressure cook mode i'm cooking mine for 15 minutes that's a perfect tenderness we're looking for if you want it really really soft put it for about 20 to 25 minutes when it's finished release the steam or the built-up pressure in there then open and when you check it if you think that the water is a little too runny for you you can put on back the saute mode and dry down to thicken that sauce but remember as it cools it's also going to thicken the 15 minutes was perfect for my family but as I said, if you want it really, really soft, go ahead and put it for 20 to 25 minutes. 
and all you have to do is serve. I love to eat curry goat with red beans or pink beans, so that's what I'm serving it with today. I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. If you make it, tag me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Do remember to stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.